Good morning guys, welcome back to, we'll go back to another video. Let me just finish up my chewing real quick. Don't want to be rude, but anywho, we are finally gonna be adding the diffuser to the 535. I know a lot of you guys have been saying that the dual tip, because I have a single tip on each side, does not look good. So I decided to go with the Keys Motorsports quad tip carbon fiber diffuser and also add the quad tips because then, because the car is a girthy car, it, it it just needs the quad tips to look good, to be honest. So, paired up with the Babtronic exhaust, I think it's gonna look great. Oh my God, it's so good. God, check out the steering wheel, guys. Shout out to Ozzy. This is honestly probably one of my favorite steering wheels I've ever owned. I need to get one of these bad boys, either the 135 or the 435 because those cars are pushing major power. This is more of like a fun daily, but uh, I need this as well on my other cars. I didn't think it's gonna be that much fun. So in today's video, uh, we're gonna be getting rid of this 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 random diffuser that just doesn't look right I mean we need carbon we need definitely need more carbon you got carbon we have carbon all over the front we have carbon all over the sides even the rear bumper and the side extensions but we don't have carbon in the rear at all we do need a spoiler as well but as for now let's go ahead and add a quad tip m5 style diffuser who's calling me right now so let me show you guys what we got here today um this diffuser I've been literally just keeping it safe in the bubble wrap because it's actually gorgeous let's just go ahead and take off all this bubble wrap All right, guys, check out this insane diffuser. This thing is so massive, and it comes with these super aggressive, pretty much like add-ons. You guys can see they're pretty much added on to this carbon fiber diffuser. So basically how this thing goes, it goes like that. So it just sits like that. But as you guys can see in the bottom, it has this very aggressive like bottom end of the diffuser and it's a quad tip. It's super light. I'm actually like, super scared to grab it. It's so light and it's such a big piece of carbon, but it's so light at the same time. At this point, honest to God, I feel like I just want to remove that diffuser and just get rid of it. I woke up this morning and I normally just go to like, Chipotle and I get something to eat before I start my day. Like I normally get the video out, get Chipotle, come back home, eat, uh, just pretty much look at a few other YouTuber channels, videos, and then pretty much get to work. But today I decided, you know what? Let me just take a little snack, work, and then, if I deserve a meal, I'll eat a meal. That's that's basically how I went today, which I'm most likely gonna be eating a meal. But I decided to push it kind of later in the day so I can kind of work on my car earlier in the day. And I'm hoping we'll have time to install the quad tips as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to head down to the exhaust shop after this to see if they can just replace the tips. Hopefully that's something they can do real quick. If not, it's whatever, but I hope they can do it. Without further ado, let me go ahead and call my brother. I need a thumbnail. Ah, uh, shout out to my brother. We just got the thumbnail. Now, I think what we should do is uh, remove the diffuser. So, without further ado, let's Let's get into it. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. I right, guys, to install this really extended diffuser, I did have to remove the diffuser itself and this little under tray because that's where that one bolts up. So it's actually perfect. So you got to bolt it and clip it to make sure this thing ain't going nowhere. I cannot wait for this car to be complimented by that car. It's going to look Absolutely insane. I'm hoping the diffuser will still fit even though there are some tips in the way right now But I'm assuming if there's two this was probably in the center So I'm hoping this will not get in the way of that diffuser So at least I can install the diffuser for now and then have the body shop kind of just align the new tips I'm super stoked for this you were all that I need. To install a diffuser like this in this type of magnitude We will have to do a couple adjustments to the actual car itself because this is an M5 style diffuser on a non M5 so this is an M Obviously, this is a 535, so we do have to get rid of this, and this is held down by this right now. I mean, currently, there is a module sitting on it, and we need to get rid of this plastic stuff. I know to remove this, you actually have to remove the rear bumper. So, let's go ahead and remove the rear bumper, and while we remove the rear bumper, we can actually fix this sensor right here that's kind of freaking out on us. So, we can fix the sensor, remove the bumper, remove this, probably just zip tie this somewhere, and then we can also install the diffuser probably when it's off the car. It makes life a whole lot easier. Yesterday, we could be ourselves. Didn't have much, but nevertheless... We were true to each other, but now we don't even bother. I remember you being home. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just zip tie this somewhere up here. So I'm probably just gonna grab that and maybe zip tie it against one of these guys right here, or maybe right back here. Let me go ahead and just zip tie this thing real quick. With me, turn around 180 degrees. And all right, now I just really wanna work on this bumper and just fix all these imperfections. Let me go ahead and just do that real quick. Let us fade away. It's not a price I wanna pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go. Now that we 
fix all the sensors and everything. Let's go ahead and put on that diffuser. I'm super stoked to see this. Turn this ship around. We can turn this ship around. All the way back home. Chasing all that we gonna have. Chasing all that we don't have. Chasing all that we gonna have. We gonna have. All the way back home. Chasing all that we gonna have. Chasing all that we don't have. Chasing all that All right, guys, so after some finicking and just pretty much trying to get it in, I basically drilled some holes behind the diffuser to keep it up there. Um, with carbon fiber diffusers, it's super hard to keep them in its place, mainly because there is no wobbling. It's, it's, it's like a giant piece of fiberglass. Well, carbon fiber, obviously. So you can't really like bend it like plastic. So if you try to bend it too much, you might mess up. So I had to pretty much do a little bit of a adjustment. On the top end, it doesn't look absolutely perfectly lined up, but from the back end, it looks absolutely perfect. Guys, check out these little two pieces right here. The diffuser looks so good. You guys can definitely see the Valvetronic exhaust now. This looks absolutely stunning. Now we're gonna have to definitely go with quad quad tips. Let me know what you guys think about this diffuser. If, uh, if you guys like it or not, I think it looks super good. Finally compliments the rest of the car. Your carbon fiber front lip, side skirt extensions, rip upper extensions, and now diffuser M5 style. So we definitely need a spoiler to kind of complete the carbon fiber touches and some mirror caps. Other than that, I think in terms of carbon, this car is doing really well for itself. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and take a quick little shower. Um, and then we're gonna hopefully take out this car for a little spin. I'm super excited to just enjoy the car. I've been trying to enjoy the cars a lot more often, as you see from the last couple of videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this car, enjoy this brand new serum from Aza, get some Chipotle, because that was a job well done. We also fixed the sensor, so hopefully it shouldn't be beeping from the rear end bumper. The front bumper also, a sensor popped out, so we do have to fix that as well when we're wrapping it. So I have to remove the bumper and fix that sensor. I was thinking about removing the bumper and fixing that sensor, we actually fixed the wrap as well, so we get it all done at the same time. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we don't have any issues with the rear sensors, because two of them are beeping, and uh, I guess moment of truth once we actually start driving. I already put in all the screws. I probably should've checked before I did that. Anywho, your man's gonna take a shower. So, let's go ahead, go inside. Take a shower, come back out, head to Chipotle. All right guys, so I just got back from my shower and uh, freshly little trim beard. I'm pretty sure my girl is gonna get really upset with me. I'm already kind of regretting it myself to be honest, but I, I just kind of want to trim it down. It's getting a little bit whack and just kind of have all the hairs grow together. Not like a few short and a lot of them long. I kind of want them to grow out gradually all together. I don't want like a huge butt chin of a, of a beard, but I want it, you know, just a little bit of girth to it, but all even, if you guys know what I mean. Anywho, check it out, the Oz is Let's go ahead and give this thing a little startup. Damn! I cannot thank Aza enough. This is this is art. This is straight up art. I don't know if you guys have been noticing the last couple of videos. I did get a GoPro recently, so I should be doing some GoPro footage on this car as well. And then I also got a suction mount for the inside of the car. I got one on top of the car, and I got a few for the front of the car and just chest mounts and a bunch of stuff. I wanna bring you guys more vlogs, but better vlogs, enjoyable content. I don't care if I have to sync four different, you know, videos, I mean, four different cameras in one video and sync all the audio together. I will do it for you guys because I know repetitive content gets boring and I've been reading you guys' comments and I just wanna improve for you guys. I do this for you guys. I also do this for myself. This is my only living, but at the same time, I wanna make you guys happy. Without further ado, um, speaking of making y'all happy, uh, I know y'all love Chipotle, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love Chipotle, but uh, we gotta get some Chipotle. Okay, this is good, this is good. So the rear sensors are not freaking out. As you can see, that front left is freaking out. So I still have to fix that one, but the rear bumper ones, they look like they're working just fine. Let's go ahead and back out of the garage, just triple check. Yeah, the rear ones are working perfectly. Nothing's there. Don't take it personal. We just building. It's my season, lay foundation. Make a name for generations, please and make a Take a break or a little vacation and chasing blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you're winning. All right, guys, we just secured the package from Chipotle. <laughs> Let's go home and eat. I'm super sorry. My brother and me have kind of a late day to our first meal. It's 4 p.m., but uh, do what you gotta do. If you got my number, don't ask me. God bless that amazing meal from Chipotle. Uh, honestly, I uh, ate the bowl and ended up passing out for about two hours. 
Yeah, so, anywho, we're back in the car. I got my energy back, for the most part, at least. And I just want to take about just a minute to two minutes of you guys' time and just talk about future goals uh, for the channel. Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. <laughs> oh, God, okay. No copyright, please. All right, guys, so now that I brought you out here in the middle of nowhere, um, I hope you guys uh, like that. I didn't want to film it at the house. I kind of wanted our own little... Uh, little you know one-on-one -on -one type of thing I just wanted to talk about the future of the channel I know a lot of you guys that always get DMS when are you gonna do another build when are you gonna do like a uh, huge project something like that and it just lets you guys know where I'm currently standing I've been doing a lot of builds not rebuilds recently because I've also been saving up I didn't want it to get into all the salvage cars because salvage cars if you guys don't know don't really hold value well you guys know that the f10 is currently my beautiful baby that's a clean title my 435 is a clean title my 135 is a clean title I've Kind of sticking to those and building those up so worst comes to worst in december if you guys don't know to kind of give you guys a dip into my life right now and you know where i'm currently standing i'm possibly if this whole covid thing you know hopefully dies down just a little bit hopefully be getting married so that would be amazing but obviously what comes with that is a lot of bills a lot of uh money things you know stuff like that and i'm just trying to be a, i'm just playing a little bit safe for that and at the same time i also have a goal that i set in the beginning of this year that i really wanted to get my first supercar so I hope you guys are excited for that. I've been trying to save up for the supercar. I have a good chunk I've, uh, just put off to the side dedicated specifically to the supercar. So that's why I've been kind of building these cars. I haven't been getting to all the rebuilds. A lot of companies have been helping me, supporting me. A lot of you guys have been helping me and supporting me. And that's allowing me to be able to still build cars, save up for my dreams, and also save up for my future. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you guys are not seeing. And I'm just trying to level it all out. So I, I do know you guys want to see a rebuild. So I'm going to be hopping back into the rebuilds. If you guys didn't know the last six to seven months i mean california stopped allowing people without dealer's license to bid on cars i used to hire a broker but they pretty much banned that for some reason as soon as i got the shop that's why i couldn't get any rebuilds the only rebuild i did at the shop was a 650i and that was picked up off of craigslist and uh, my brother's 328 which was picked off of craigslist since then i got the 128 the 435 the f10 the 135 all those were clean title cars because i haven't been able to bid on copart hopefully gonna be getting a build on the channel so let me know what kind of build you guys want to see and also let me know what kind of supercar you guys want to see so pretty much i'm going to be reading all the comments tonight so i, I really want to hear what you guys think i'm literally trying i really want to make the best content for you guys possible so put down what kind of rebuilds you guys want to see and in the same comment also put down what kind of supercar you guys want to see what kind of supercars would you like me going around pov vlogging maybe going down to la you know collab with finding nick and a couple of my boys down there i'm super excited for what 2021 is gonna be i have so much planned for that but in the meantime i do want to also make you guys happy a lot of you guys have been complaining and you guys have every right i kind of kept this all from you guys i didn't really tell you guys my my, my uh my plan so my plans were uh just to play it kind of safe but we're playing it safe also the content is sacrificed so we're getting another rebuild boys do not worry that's happening soon and we're getting a supercar so let's down what kind of supercar is under 85 grand i'm definitely going to be financing i do not have 85 grand we have the amg gt which i actually think is more of a sports car than a supercar mainly because the doors don't go up and the, the it's a rear it's a it's a front engine it's not a rear engine and it's a v8 twin turbo kind of like every other sports car nowadays we have the porsche 911 they have a few out there maybe even the gt4 so let me know what kind of cars you guys want to see uh, me potentially get on this channel and dailying and make it an absolute beast i'm super stoked for the future guys so if you guys are wondering where uh where you guys' support is going a lot of you guys have been copying merch that support has been going towards the saving of the supercar and future build this is the first time in my life i was able to own three cars at the same time and at the same time save up so i've been really just grinding my butts off so i really appreciate you guys for supporting me as well and that also being said if you guys want to support me ho hopefully make the dream happen sooner than december cop some merch down below i repost everyone on on instagram that tags me with the merch we got a bunch of new things if you guys have a bmw i mean come on just cop something join the hashtag save a bmw gang and support your boy you really are supporting me heavily you guys already are significantly just by clicking on these videos and that's why i'm gonna be kind of going back to the old nor rebuilding more vlogging instead of just modifying and building because rebuilding we all know is a lot more satisfying but without further ado guys remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and don't forget guys i honestly love you guys so much you guys have changed my life